which authorizes the license holder to operate a class or type of commercial motor vehicle. B1, commercial motor vehicle, means any vehicle or combination of vehicles that requires a Class A or Class B or Class C license with an endorsement issued pursuant to paragraph 5 of subdivision A of section 15278. M, non-commercial motor vehicle, means a motor vehicle or a combination of motor vehicles that is not included within the definition in subdivision B, which was commercial motor vehicle. Title 49 CFR 383 Transportation Part 383 Commercial Driver's License Standards Requirements and Penalties Subpart A General Commercial Motor Vehicle CMV means a motor vehicle or combination of motor vehicles used in commerce Get that folks? Used in commerce to transport passengers or property If the motor vehicle vehicle uh, if the motor vehicle means a motor vehicle unless otherwise specified. And that's the uh, definition that is stated in the vehicle code. But we have right below that VEH vehicle v code 15 to 10. Definition 7 in the absence of a federal definition existing definitions under this code shall apply. And what does that mean? That means that if there's a federal definition, it's superior to any definition in this vehicle code of California, right? And, we, and then we have, this is a federal definition that's more clear than the 349 that they would like you to, to use, which is kind of vague. But this is 18. Title 18, United States Code 31. Motor vehicle means... <clears throat> Every description of carriage or other contrivance propelled or drawn by mechanical power and used for commercial purposes on the highways, in transportation of passengers, passengers and property, or property and cargo. Now the key right there, folks, was used for commercial purposes. And the uh, federal government has the right to regulate <laughs> interstate commerce, and here the key word is commerce. So almost everything that deals in commerce between the states they t tend to try to extend to within the states where, <laughs> where they have no authority whatsoever. Extend and extend, yeah, yeah. California Vehicle Code 260. No, I, I had not yet read used for commercial purposes means the carriage oh. of persons or property for any fair fee, rate, charge, or other consideration. Let me say that one more time more clearly. Used for commercial purposes means the carriage of persons or property for any fair fee rate charge or other consideration and what's consideration Jeff you want to real quick just break down consideration anything of value there you go generally it's money but it, yeah. or directly or indirectly in connection with any business or other undertaking intended for profit in three Okay, here we have the actual 2008 vehicle code because I know that, you know, having actual evidence is way better than just taking somebody's word for it. So let's, <laughs> let's go in here and look once again and see 260, right? A commercial vehicle is a motor vehicle of a type required to, to be, be registered, registered under, under this, this code. code. So if it's not a commercial vehicle, in other words, you're not making money off of it, you're just driving it around to get to work and this Traveling and that. around in it, if, right. okay. if you're <laughs> If you're traveling on the public right of way, which is your common law right, and uh, you're not using it as a cab or you're, you're not operating a trucking outfit, then it's not a commercial vehicle. Uh, you need to be able to go from border to border and ocean to ocean in your private property enjoying liberty. And that is, uh, I mean, that's just common sense. Yeah. You can imagine our founding fathers driving, you know, wandering into the next town on horseback and having the, the sheriff go, hey, you know, you, is that, uh, is that, is that vehicle registered? <laughs> yeah, is that vehicle? Hell, the horse a vehicle, yeah. So we have, here you, you can notice that um, under C of the, of the commercial vehicle, it says any van pool vehicle is not a commercial vehicle. Now, isn't that strange? 
any van pool vehicle. Now, what, what do van pools do? They haul people, what, for free? No, everybody no. Pu puts a pot I, in for the gas, I mean, man. You, you can't even begin to say, think that, uh, that somebody is going to have like eight people ride to work with them and they're riding for free. And yet, they ha actually come right out and say any van pool vehicle is not a commercial vehicle. And if it's, it, not, if it's not a commercial vehicle, then under A, it's not required to be registered. Nor is a license required to operate it. Hey, we'll just put and, no plates on our van yeah. pool because it states. That's right. Officer, this is a van pool. I don't care. Step out of the vehicle. Yeah, taser guns out. <laughs> um, I mean, I would think that they would know that the public, if the public were to read this code, which I'm sure they're counting on the public not never, reading it. Never, never reading, reading it. it. I but mean, they have to know it. Yeah, I want to spend my it. money on buying the vehicle code because it's such a good read. Well, it doesn't cost that much. Internet searches. It's very easy to find vehicle codes in internet searches. Vehicle code uh, 17460. Yes. Okay. The acceptance or retention by a resident of this state of a driver's license issued pursuant to the provisions of this code shall constitute the, sorry, consent of the person that service of summons may be made upon him without or without this state, whether or not he is then a resident of this state in any action brought in the courts of this state upon a cause of action arising in this state out of his operation of a motor vehicle anywhere within this state. Uh, so now do we see that there's the contract that's being violated. Did, they didn't tell you this when you went down and got the license. They didn't tell you that getting this license, which is not required if you're not engaging in commerce, will then subject you to all the vehicle code laws <coughs> and you will be consenting to being hauled into court for <coughs> any of the vehicle code laws. But, but he Defects. There's all sorts of defects in the code. Uh, well, the biggest one. Of, the biggest know. one is that when you went and got the license, they didn't uh, honor the. Uh, they, they the license was an unconscionable contract. Into commerce, into giving someone money for something not necessary. It's unnecessary. They are collecting revenue. They are raising revenues, collecting money. Just how they much are part money? Of the franchise tax board. How much money is collected through uh, tickets every year? Imagine, uh, you know, everybody goes down and pays, say, uh, what is it, twenty bucks or something for the driving test or something like that. So just to take the driving test or just it's fifty dollars approximately for a license these days. But that's that's the small money. I mean, yeah, they wouldn't. Yeah, but imagine they, you know you've got everybody uh, pays them fifty dollars. But how much does do people pay them a year in how, tickets? How many millions of people in the state though? You know, dr buying a license. I guarantee the know? money they collect in tickets is. Oh, I know it's more. It's way more, but I mean, still the numbers are enormous. I mean, they say you have to have the license. When I was in school, they told us driving was a privilege, and you have to have a license to drive the car. And as children, we all believe what that meant was that if we wanted to enjoy uh, what we saw Freedom. our parents and adults <laughs> doing uh, in our futures, that we were going to have to, you know, uh, have this, this license they were talking about. It was all very arbitrary and ambiguous. It didn't make a lot of sense to us. We were kids and we had no idea what contracts meant because contract law should have been something that there was a class on, but there wasn't. And I wonder why. So let's move on to Vehicle Code 12801.5. Vehicle Code 12801.5E, notwithstanding Section 40300 or any other provision of law, a peace officer may not detain or arrest a person solely on the belief that the person is an unlicensed driver unless the officer has reasonable cause to believe the person driving is under the age of 16 years. First, let's discuss the fact that anytime you get a ticket, you're under arrest, right? You have been arrested, and that arrest comes when, at the moment that you have lost your liberty and freedom to go where you will. Which is pulling off the road, being pulled over as soon as so, you pull off the road. So the moment the police officer denies you your right to leave, you're under arrest. 